Welcome back to the Power of Public YouTube channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to change reed pedals on this KA100 engine, but it's very similar to changing the reed pedals on most of the go-kart engines, X30, Rotax, same procedure, different motor. So let's get to it. Okay, some of the tools that you're going to need is a uh, little Phillips head screwdriver, 5mm T-bar, a new set of reed pedals, these are the carbon fiber ones, you can get them in the uh, traditional fiberglass Kevlar, otherwise uh, these are the CF ones, which is the latest and the greatest, and uh, some carbon cleaner and a rag. So this one here, our engine, has come in for a service anyway, and the carb is off, so we're just going to remove those nuts. You pull your carburetor off, it was on there, and remove your little carby gasket. And then you've got these four bolts, so just remove those. So now we've got the reed cage and the stuffer block out. Okay, now if you don't have any spare of these gaskets, um, try not to rip them when you pull it all apart. This one's coming in for service, so we put a new gasket kit in it so that we can replace those gaskets anyway. So just take that one off and set it aside. You're just going to be working on the, um, the reed cage. Now, if you want to get this off without breaking it, just work your, oops, just work your way around uh, this one will, might come off a little bit easier. They just tend to get stuck around the bolt holes and they can rip a little bit. So just uh, work at it. Now if you rip it, it's wrecked. Don't try to fix it with some silicon. Just get another one, you know, that it's not the... It's not going to kill you. But it, if you're stuck at the track, just be careful. Just leave it in place if you haven't got any spares. A little tra a trick to get these ones off is just to get yourself a little pick and um, you can just sort of slowly push push down and then just just feed it along the aluminium and you can get it underneath the gasket and that should just bring up the gasket enough not to um, damage it too much but sometimes you just can't help but rip these so next up we've got to remove these little screws so that the reed pedals can slide out If you're in a hurry, you can just loosen these screws, like so, half a turn. Say so you're at the track and you chipped a corner off your reed or a rocket hit it and broken one, or sometimes that happens. You can just loosen them off, slide your reed pedal out, slide your new one in, screw them back up, and they're done. But for us, we're going to take them all the way out and give the reed pedal, uh, the reed cage a clean, and then chuck the new pedals in and reassemble it. So on this uh, reed cage, this is like some rubber that they stick onto the aluminium, and it makes for the pedal just to sit on there perfect okay and now sometimes you get these little pieces of sand and rock and they get embedded into the rubber so you can rub that off with a rag just gently clean that up like so now you want to make sure there's no damage around the edges because the reed actually seals on this face so if you get any major rocks stuck in here get a razor blade and just gently drag it backwards over the rock and it'll just um, flick it out. This one's not too bad. You can, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that on the close up, but the, um, there's some little pitting damage on, on here from the, from the little rocks that get stuck between the reed pedals as they go through the carburetor. They're just the, the little ones that have come through the air filter. And you can see there, there's one over here and you just rub on the back of it and it just flicks it out. And then your rubber is nice and Nice and perfectly clean. Ready for your new pedals. So your new reed pedals are gonna come in a packet like this. 
Sometimes they come separate, but mostly uh, from my army, that the original ones, they're gonna come in a packet like this. Uh, you just cut them open carefully with a Stanley knife. So now that our reed cage is all clean and we bust out our new uh, reed pedals, okay? Now you want to be pretty gentle with them, they are a little bit fragile. So don't just uh, you know rip the packet because you might damage the reeds. Okay, so just sit that guy on there like so. Grab your one of these little reed supports and put it on there. Hold your tongue to the left, put in your little screw and just don't now don't do that up all the way tight otherwise you might struggle to get the other ones in so just get all four in to start with before you lock them off now just be careful when you're putting in little threads spin the screw backwards and you'll feel it click down and that should register home nice and square. If it feels tight at the start, don't force it because you're probably putting it in on the on a little angle and you'll wreck the thread inside of here and it's just a whole bunch more drama. Now, now that you've got all the screws in and started, just push the reed pedal back like so and hold it down with your thumb. Do up the middle one there. Middle one here. Outside one. outside one and then just come back just firm pressure okay don't really wind up on that screwdriver or you're gonna just strip that tiny little thread out okay it's only into the aluminium now it's the same for the other side so let's go ahead and do that one more thing you can see on this uh, reed pedal here that it has a little engraving of I army um, and the other side doesn't so it goes with the iami side up also to the reed pedal has a little bit of a set in it it should have the set or the con cave with that way and the riding up otherwise the reed pedal will be not sealing down on the rubber Okay, so that's how you replace your reed pedals on a reed cage. Uh, like I said at the start of the video, it's gonna be very similar for motorbike engines, Brotax engines, X30 engines, this here K100 engine. Okay, so uh, use the same techniques when you're doing those engines. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic, or go to our website, Grab yourself a t-shirt and a hat, www.powerrepublic.com.au. See you in the next video.